Auckland and Medicine and the Supreme Committee have got together to improve the health of workers working on World Cup projects. So the Supreme Committee approached us and said they really wanted to make sure that the welfare and the health of the migrant workers was really a major priority for them. The program is extremely important uh, because it's a further example of our commitment to the health, safety, security and dignity of all uh, people working and contributing to the development of the World Cup projects. What we are doing is assessing 1,000 migrant workers in detail for their medical and nutritional status. The first phase is to measure what health problems the workers have, get some feedback about their nutrition and their expectations of health. The next phase of the project is to improve their nutrition by engaging with the workers as well as the caterers. And by improving our nutrition, then we can go to the next phase and see where this has an impact on their health. We send our team of clinicians and researchers who work with these individuals. So it involves them having their blood pressure taken, having an electrocardiogram, looking at their heart rhythm, looking at their breathing, as well as having some questionnaires completed. Throughout the screenings, we were able to identify high-risk uh, individuals, uh, which uh, accordingly we set up a hotspot in Hamid Medical uh, Corporation, uh, which allowed for them to be uh, quickly and efficiently processed throughout the medical uh, system. Hopefully what we learn from a thousand workers will give us a lot of clues as to how we need to improve things in terms of their nutrition and health. We will make very specific recommendations to fix any issues that we might find. And then we'll write a comprehensive report describing the model that we have now developed, which can be used by other organizations, both in Qatar as well as in the region at large. We didn't look towards Well Cornell for the purposes of only credibility. We looked for them for the expertise and experience that they offer. It's very important to give back to the workers who are contributing to the, this country's infrastructure. Uh, and I think it's, it's also a further example of uh, unique and innovative approaches uh, uh, in relation to uh, matters that are, I think, pressing globally when it comes to worker welfare uh, environment and worker welfare's uh, well-being. And of course, uh, you know, the first of its kind in the GCC. For while Cornell Medicine, this is really part of our commitment to population health. I'm hopeful that this, when we educate and uh, uh, create an awareness amongst the workers themselves when it comes to a healthy lifestyle and healthy diet, they will be able to take this back home as well to their families, to their communities. And you will find this have a cascading effect and an impact beyond just the immediate beneficiaries, which are the workers, but one that can actually extend to their families and their communities back home as well.